Okay guys, today's makeup look is featuring the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Zodiac Collection palette and um, let's get started. So I'm going to go in first with Dr. Brandt's Needles No More No More Baggage Under Eye um, Serum I guess you would call it, but I just tap that in under the under eye area and it is extremely tightening and firms up the under eyes and I have absolutely loved that product. And now I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer and I'm going to smooth that all over the face. And then I'm using Maybelline Matte and Poreless in shade 220. And I'm using a like a stippling brush and I'm just going to stipple that into the face. And as always, I will leave everything that I use in the video down in the description box below so that you guys can reference it and, and see if I... And just in case I forget anything, you can go down there and look and see what I'm using. So I really am excited about this look. This look features like a really bright orange out of the palette and it is, it is the most beautiful orange that I've seen in an eyeshadow and I'm just obsessed with it. And I can't wait to do more makeup looks this fall season with it because it's just a beautiful orange shade. So... I'm just finishing up blending in the foundation into the skin, making sure it's all blended in. And I'm going to go in and do my brows. And again, I use this. This is like my favorite brow product at the moment. And it's by Wet n Wild. And it's the ultimate brow in shade medium brown, I think I use. Yeah, medium brown. let me know I have the whole entire collection from Kathleen Lights and Colourpop the Zodiac collection I have the whole entire collection so let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see a review on the whole collection there's so much more I have the um, the what are they called they're like the Stila I forget exactly what they're called but I have those and I just I love the collection I'm, I'm so excited to play around with it and um, pump some more fall colored looks out of it. So now I'm going in with the palette and I'm just taking that shade, the crease shade I think I used is the Taurus. I know some of the clips got cut out which what I'm using but I do have it and I will put that down below of what I used in the, cre the crease, the lid and the outer V's and stuff like that. So I took the Taurus and I threw that into the crease and I'm just blending that in. Now I'm taking that and I'm going in with the lid color which is that orange color and it's the Aries. And I put down a like a jumbo pencil like a crayon just to have some tackiness for that color to stick to. And as always I really like to apply any kind of metallic or um, shimmery sparkly shade like that. I like to apply it best with my finger I feel like especially with ColourPop. ColourPop shadows that are like that apply best with your finger and this is my baby Harrison he came in to say hi so once I put that orange shade then I'm gonna go back into the Taurus which is the crease shade and I'm just going to make sure you blend out the line where the orange meets the crease that's what that crease shade does and then I'm gonna go into the outer V I used the Virgo and I just want to take that and I want to deepen the outer V up and just deepen that that outer V up with that dark shade and then I'm going in with my concealer and my concealer I used Catrice liquid camouflage and light beige and I have that under my under eyes and then just in the center of my forehead I think down my nose a little bit and my chin and I'm just blending that out again with a, a real technique stippling brush just blending that out and then I'm gonna go in I think I set it with the NYC smooth skin translucent powder which is a great drugstore powder that and the Cody airspun loose powder as well 
but the Cody Airspun has a really strong scent, so if you're really sensitive to scents like that, you will not like it. it smells like um, grandma. Not that that's a bad thing, but just very perfume smell. So now I'm going on the lower lash line and I took the Virgo, which is the same dark shade that I took on my outer V and I'm taking that shade and running along the lower lash line. And I just want to make sure when you're taking it along the lash line that I'm bringing it out to meet that outer V that we did on the top as well. And then the inner corner shade that I used was uh, the Leo. And I took that with like a little detailed brush and just put that on the inner corner. And I was trying to use, I regret this looking back at it, but I used that pink shade. It's got, it's like a um, shimmery shade, but it's pink, but it's not really what I wanted for the, the uh, highlighter under the brow but um, let's see that was the cancer and that's what I used under the brow and I wasn't a fan of it I was just trying to use as many of the different shades as I could and I think I go back into the Virgo to deepen it up some more and then I take that sh oh it's super shock shadow I think no not super shock shadow I don't know what those are called but I use the that to put on the lower lash line. Oh, Supernova Shadow. Sorry guys. Supernova Shadow in Astrology is what I took and I like stamped that on my lower lash line. That's that like yellow sparkly shade in the collection. And now I'm going to go into my bronzer which is the ABH and I'm uh, it's in Rich Amber and I'm going to take that and bronze up my cheeks and add some warmth to my face and some depth. And then this Note Cosmetics blush I actually got in a BoxyCharm in the past month and it's a really pretty orange shade so I thought that that would complement the colors well so I used that. And then I'm going in with the highlighter from the collection and it's the shade Fire. And it was so smooth. When I dipped my finger in it was so smooth. Unbelievably creamy. And I just dabbed that on. Again, I like to use the Super Shock. The, um, most of all of ColourPop I like using my fingers with. Their eyeshadows and their highlighters I like using my fingers with. So I'm just dabbing that on the tops of my cheeks and then down my nose and then on my cupid's bow as well. And then I'm going in with MAC Costa Riche in my waterline. And that is probably my like favorite brown um, eyeliner, but it's, it's a different brown. It's a really, really warm colored brown, really warm um, toned brown. So I love that for the waterline. Then I'm gonna curl my lashes and I didn't do falsies today for this look. I feel like it would have definitely vamped it up for a fall look if I did falsies, but I didn't. I ended up just curling them and went in with the Essence Lash Princess. Which is, this is most of the time why I like putting my falsies on because my lashes are so short and stubborn that it takes me forever to get them to look the way that I want them to if I use mascara. But if I do falsies, I mean, I've been, it took me practice, I had to practice at it, but now, I mean, it's so much quicker than sitting there and putting on the mascara that I most of the time choose falsies over the mascara. And I completely got out of frame, but I am lining my lips with MAC cork. And then I put on top of that ColourPop What's Your Sign. That's also from the collab. And that was um, extremely, extremely creamy. And then I set the look with MAC Fix Plus. And this is it. And I'm so in love with this orange again. I can't wait to play with it more and put some more fall makeup looks out. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.